Hey everyone, welcome back to your channel. Today we're diving into the topic that might ruffle some feathers, but it's important. Why you might need to quit gaming. This video is not meant to cover all people, and I know how many enjoy gaming, but if you are between uh, 20 to 230 and find yourself struggling to balance life and gaming, stick together. Before we jump in, a quick disclaimer. This video is not meant to generalize all gamers. We understand that many people, including content creators and those who run business through gaming, find value and even make a living from gaming. However, for some individuals, gaming can become a problematic habit. This video is for those who might be struggling to balance in gaming with other important aspects of life. If you find this topic relatable, let's explore it. Together. Part 1. Identifying the problem. If you are watching this, you might be wondering if your gaming habit is a problem. Here are some signs to look out for. Sign number 1. Neglecting responsibilities. Are you skipping classes, missing work, or ignoring course because of gaming? This is one of the biggest red flags. When gaming become more important than your essential daily responsibilities, it's time to reevaluate your priorities. Sign number 2. Social isolation. Are your relationships with friends and family suffering? Do you prefer virtual interactions over real life ones? If you find yourself avoiding social gatherings or missing out on family events to hunt to game, this is a clear sign that gaming is taking over your life. Sign number three, emotional dependency. Do you feel stressed, anxious, or depressed when you can't play? This emotional attachment to gaming can be harmful and indicates that gaming is not just a hobby to you, but a copying mechanism for underlying issues. Sign number four, cycle health. Are you experiencing health issues like poor posture or lack of sleep? Gaming for long hours lead to serious health problems, including obesity, carpal tunnel syndrome, and a sleep disorder. If any of these hit home, it might be time to reconsider your relationship with games. Why quit gaming? Here are some compelling reasons why you might want to quit or reduce your gaming time. Time management. Imagine what you could achieve with all the hours you spent on gaming, learning new skills, exercising, or pursuing a passion. Time is our most valuable asset and how we spend it define our future. By cutting down on gaming, you can allocate more time to activities that enhance your life and bring long-term benefits. Mental health. Breaking free from the constant dopamine hit of gaming help you stabilize your mood and reduce anxiety. Gaming often provide an instant gratification which can make other activities seem less appealing. However, engaging in activities that requires patience and effort can lead to more substantial and lasting satisfaction. Career and education. Focusing on your studies or career can open doors you never imagined. Instead of spending hours on a game, invest that time in learning something new, improving your skills or networking. This can significantly boost your career prospects and personal growth. Relationship. Spending quality time with friends and family can create lasting memories and deeper connections. Real-life interactions and relationships are crucial for emotional well-being and personal fulfillment. By reducing time, you can build stronger bonds with people who matter most. Who should quit gaming? Who really should consider quitting gaming? Students struggling to keep up their studies if you're finding it hard to maintain your grades or constantly pulling all-nighters to finish assignments, gaming might be a culprit for you. Young professionals who find their work performance sleeping, in missing deadlines, lacking productivity, and not meeting work expectations can all be signs that gaming is interfering with your career. Anyone feeling isolated and disconnected from the real world. If you notice that your social life is dwindling and you're spending most of your time in front of screen, it's a clear indication that gaming is taking over. If you fall into these categories, it might be worth taking a break to rest when gaming is ruining your life. It's crucial to recognize when gaming is starting to ruin your life. This happens when, you know, your grades are falling. If you notice a decline in your academic performance, it's time to evaluate how much time you're dedicating to game versus in studying. You're, you're constantly tired and irritable. Lack of sleep and excessive screen time can lead to irritability and constant fatigue, affecting your overall quality 
quality of life. Your relationships are strained. When you start missing important events or your loved one complain about your lack of presence, it's a sign that gaming is negatively impacting your social life. You're neglecting your personal hygiene or health, poor diet, lack of exercise, and neglecting personal care are severe consequences of excessive gaming. If these signs are familiar, it's a wake-up call for you. And at last, how to quit gaming. Quitting isn't easy, but here are some steps that may help you. You know, set goals. Define what you want to achieve by quitting. Whether it's improving your grades, getting a promotion, or simply feeling healthier, having clear goals can motivate you to stay on track. Find alternatives. Discover new hobbies or activities you enjoy, and try reading, hiking, cooking, or any other activity that can engage you and provide a sense of accomplishment. Create a schedule. Plan your day to include productive tasks and leisure. Structure can help you stay focused and avoid temptation to game. Seek support. Talk to friends, family, or professionals for guidance. Having someone to talk to can provide emotional support and accountability. Gradual reduction. If quitting cold turkey feels overwhelming, try gradually reduce your gaming time. Set limits and slowly decrease the hours you spend gaming each week. And stay committed. Understand that relapses might happen. The key is to stay committed to your goal and keep trying even if you stumble along the way. It's okay to. And at last, if you're considering quitting gaming, remember it's about finding a balance and prioritizing what truly matters to you. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Thank you for watching this video and if this video resonated with you, please like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Let's support each other in finding a healthier, balanced life. My name is Ebolon. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next episode.